All right, Eddie, your reaction to what you saw, Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. asking out after, we think, breaking his nose during this fight. Yeah, well, I want a new suit, firstly. A couple of pints of lager. It was a good fight. I mean, it was a close fight. And uh, Chavez looked great, I thought. And it's just so disappointing that, listen, it's easy for us to be the guys who, you could tell the right hand busted his nose as soon as he hit him. He had, he had blood everywhere, but it's not a good look. You know, when you're getting so much criticism anyway, the one thing that I wanted him to show tonight was heart. And it always takes heart to get in the ring. But sometimes you've got to go through a busted nose. You know, they said he broke his hand and his nose. But, you know, when there's that much pressure on you and everybody's waiting to pot shot you, you've got to come and try and ride through that. And he was doing well in the fight. You know, I had it very close uh, to the fight. Danny was just started to come back into it the round before. He hurt him. They traded off at the end of, I think, the fourth round. Hit him with that big right hand, busted his nose. But he busted his nose. It's boxing. You know, it's hard for us to start criticising guys in there. We know we've seen what can happen in that ring. You know, but as you saw from the fans, the atmosphere was wild tonight, and it got even more wild once once Julio decided to call it a day. Chavez, of course, the story right now, but in 2020, Daniel Jacobs is part of your story. Mm. What did you think of his performance overall, moving up in weight? Well, good. I mean, look, Chavez came in four pounds heavier in the ring. You could see the size difference. When I was standing in the ring before the fight, I looked across at the two guys, and they looked like a, a division or even two divisions different. And Julio, early in the fight, was walking him down. Looked really good. Looked strong. And I was impressed with Julio's performance. That's, that's one of the gutting things about it, is that I felt like he was on his way to getting some kind of redemption. And then, of course, you know, he, he decided he didn't want to continue, and now he's going to get an awful lot of criticism and stick. And um, it's a tough road back for him. But for Danny Jacobs, felt great at 168 pounds. We've got Billy Joe Saunders, we've got Callum Smith. You know, I think one of those guys is going to get the Canelo fight. Whoever doesn't get the Canelo fight, I think should fight Danny Jacobs, and Danny will try and become a two-weight world champion. Thanks, Eddie. Cheers.